All right, today I'm gonna to show you how we install crown molding using CA glue. Uh, it's pretty much a super glue with an activator that works really fast, and I use 2P10. There's a link on my website on where you can order it. And I use the thick, they have thin gel, I like the thick. So here I'm making the first cut for the return. So you do a uh, 22 for this return. So it's 16.3 uh, on the miter, 15.7 on the bevel. And then you make another piece, the same cut, and then uh, an outside corner cut on the right side there. So that's a 35-30. And you put the glue on one side, spray the other side, and hold it together until it's dry. Usually about eight seconds. Now you can hold it up, mark the outside corner on the other side, and it's ready to be installed. And there's what the finished corner looks like. And you can see using this glue, we can do the outside corners and the inside corners. I use miters and tight bond. All right, on the outside corners, when you have a bull nosed drywall, we'll cut a little corner piece and mark it and then cut all the pieces to the right size and then glue them all together before we install it. So you can see here, once again, I'm just putting the glue on one side spraying the other side with the activator and holding them together and once the whole thing is done i'll just lift it up and slide it on the wall and the cool thing about using ca glue for these corners is it's all perfect when you install it if you were to cut it all separately and do it piece by piece the crown might move a little bit when you shoot a nail into the wall and throw your joint off so this way it's all just nice and tight before you even get it up there and it looks just like this when you install it. Um, some people use pin nails and glue but this is just quicker I find. Alright this piece is ready to go in. I put the tight bond on the right side there so it's already glued up and you just slide it onto the wall, tap it into place and if you saw my other crown molding video you know how to do that inside corner. You just get it close, nail it off and then shim it up if you have to. All right, this section is done. Let's take a look. Ooh, the corners look good. Nice and tight. And this is how we went around a vent that was too close to the ceiling. Always a problem. And we use the CA glue for that too. It works really well with those tiny pieces. So we just fill it, caulk it, and paint it. Done. All right, be sure to visit crownmoldinginstaller.com. Find the link to get this glue and start gluing your corners in two days with Amazon Prime.